Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is Google Cloud VMware Engine 101. What is it? So I'm going to talk a little bit about private cloud and public cloud, a concept most people should be familiar with. Um, and what most organizations will have is some form of VMware vSphere uh, on site or on premise, usually uh, one or two data centers for disaster recovery and high availability. Um, so there's data center one, data center two on our private cloud, but there's also an appetite to move to some kind of public cloud. So things something like Amazon AWS, Google GCP and Microsoft Azure. Uh, and the most common use cases or things that people want to do with private cloud and public cloud, um, the first one would be to extend the data center into the cloud. So we'll take that private and public again on our two data centers. And then a view that we might want to add an additional data center but using a public cloud provider. So we're essentially having a third data center. So we've still got our original VMware platform. And on that platform, we can run VMware flavored virtual machines. And we've now got a new Google GCP flavored platform. Uh, and we can run Google flavored virtual machines. Um, some people are okay with that. Other people kind of realize that I've now got two different types of hypervisor, two different types of virtual machines, and I can't mix and match between them. Um, but if that's what you intended to do, then that's fine. But for most people, they, they actually want some kind of hybrid cloud where they can move things backwards and forwards. Um, another common thing that people have is where they've got a data center which is maybe getting older or is, needs a data center refresh and needs upgrading. And what they decide they want to do is take on another part of public cloud and essentially move everything from data center two into a public cloud and then shut down the old data center so that they've now got one on-prem and one in the cloud. This is probably one of the most common things I see in my day job. Uh, what you end up with then is you've still got your VMware platform with your VMware flavored virtual machines. You now have a new Google Cloud platform or public cloud platform uh, environment. Um, and you just need to migrate things now from your on-prem environment to the public cloud. But it's a different hypervisor, it's a different virtual machine file format. And that's where most people start to struggle um, because you've got to do a rewrite, a replatform or some kind of conversion to get it there. So let's just look at that again um, you know, from a different perspective, which is VMware Cloud Foundation. So VMware have created VMware Cloud Foundation so that Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and all the other public cloud providers can run the VMware software stack on a public cloud so that it's now possible to create a hybrid cloud, a cloud that spans the private network or a private cloud and a public cloud to create a hybrid cloud. And the advantage of that is there's a common platform now for virtual machines. So you can move virtual machines from on-prem to cloud um, or even to a different uh, cloud provider or from a cloud provider back to on-prem. But you end up with a single platform for running virtual machines and applications and services with some of it uh, on-prem and some of it in the public cloud. Uh, and Google Cloud VMware Engine is nothing more than the Google version of a public cloud with VMware software running on it. So you can create a VMware compatible or VMware hybrid cloud, just as we're showing at the top of the screen there. So you've got a single platform for running virtual machines. And those virtual machines can all communicate with each other directly, but they could be running from different data centers, some on-prem, some in the cloud, but it's a single platform to manage. So if you think about that again, similar kind of diagram, but what we're saying here is that this is on-premises infra on infrastructure. It's customer owned and customer operated, same as before. Uh, the workloads and the virtual machines which deliver applications and services are again customer managed. But this new data center that you've taken on is now a cloud infrastructure and it's Google owned and operated. So somebody else is now buying the hardware, the data center, doing the power and the cooling, uh, patching and updating um, in one of your data centers. But you still have um, control of the workloads and VMs and applications and services on a single platform. So we've basically moved some of the responsibility for housekeeping to Google, uh, Google Cloud Platform on a public cloud. So the, the kind of thing that you may have done with you know gas and electricity and water, you probably pay somebody else to do that for you rather than do it yourself. Um, this is just another way of moving those housekeeping tasks to a, somebody else and doing it on a public cloud and using a public cloud consumption model. 
So another way you could think of it about is that one's on-premise, mostly CapEx, and that's public cloud, mostly OpEx. That's probably the, the simplest way to think of it. So we're just changing who buys, pays for, and feeds and waters the infrastructure. Um, and it's also a way to move into public cloud and use the cloud consumption model. So that's the end of that part of the video. What I would say is if you're interested in VMware Cloud Foundation or knowing more about it, I do have another video. Um, I also have another video that covers the different ways you can consume VCF or the different models that cloud providers use. Um, so there's things like VMC on AWS or there's the VCPP model which Google and Azure, Microsoft Azure use. That's all available on another video called Public Cloud for VMware Users 105, VMware Cloud Foundation. And if you want to know more about the differences between virtual machines, containers and functions, or again, the way that you can move workloads around between on-premise and multiple cloud providers, I have another video called Public Cloud for VMware Users 104, Public Cloud Offerings. And then just the final takeaway, almost like an elevator pitch, you know, if somebody's to ask you what Google Cloud VMware Engine does, it's uh, Google running the VMware Cloud Foundation software in the public cloud, which makes it available on a cloud consumption model so that organizations can create a hybrid cloud without having to rewrite or refactor or replatform existing applications and services. So that's the end of the um, GCV or one on one. What is it? Uh, the next video on the series is going to be um, GCVE. Uh, 102 what problems does it solve so thank you very much for your time and i hope you found that useful